In this video, I want to show you how, when using a standard normal distribution, how percentiles work. Um, but before I do that, let's talk real quick and go over what a percentile means. When you see that word, percentile, I want you to think of these phrases, less than, um, or think of maybe the phrase below, you know. If, if you are told that you scored maybe on a standardized test like the SAT or the ACT or um, you know your uh, your IQ score whatever it might be that you are in the let's say 96th percentile right let's say that you are in the 96th percentile um, what does that mean that means that 96 percent of the people who took that test or 96 percent of the people who uh, you're referring to of all the, the, the in the entire distribution is below your score is less than your score okay so the 96th percentile is kind of this picture going on here think of it this way um, you are referring to a Z number a Z score where 96 percent is below yours you also know that 96 percent is 0.96 right same thing so <clears throat> let's say that 0 is sitting in the middle we're referring to then a Z number that is somewhere over here because 96 percent below yours is this picture going on that means eight everything kind of shaded to the left of right 96 percent is all of this area shaded to the left of over here so we're looking for what is the z-score that corresponds to 96 percentile well if I know that all of this area in here is 96 or 0.96 then I'll just look it up here on my table right again I keep referring to this table in all my videos so I'm looking up in this area here I'm looking up for a 0.96 at least the thing that comes closest to it and I know you can't read that that my finger is pointing to but it looks like the closest number that I get to 0.96 is 0.9599 right 0.9599 that's the closest value that I get as far as an area is concerned so I'm just gonna write that down 0.9599 Right, very 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 close the closest thing I can find to 0.96 now what Z number corresponds to that I get a Z number of 1.75 right a Z number of 1.75 that corresponds to this 0.9599 so sometimes on my math lab or in your book homework it asks what is the Z score that corresponds to a 96th percentile let's do one more percentile how about um, let's see I'll make one up here how about I'm looking for the z-score that corresponds to the 34th percentile right I'm looking for a z-score that corresponds to the 34th percentile what does that mean that means that 34 percent of the data 34 percent of the scores are below yours now 34 is smaller right it's smaller than one half it's smaller than 0.5 okay this is really 0.34 so since this number is smaller than 0.5 then we must be referring to zero sitting in the middle we must be referring to some Z number over here where again percentile means shaded below yours that is a negative Z number right the negative Z number because it's to the left of zero so this area over here is 0.34 well I'll just look that up over here on my table of negative Z scores right negative Z scores and the value that comes closest to it I know you probably can't see it and so I'm just gonna go hunt for it myself the closest thing that I see to 0.34 is let's see where is that here Right, the closest thing I'm getting is 0.3409. Hope you can see that on your table if you're using uh, the Triola book. So 0.3409. That is the.
probability or area that comes closest to that is the closest thing I can find to 0.34. All right. So, and that number there, 0 0.3409, corresponds to a z-score of negative 0.41. Negative 0.41. So in this case here, this z-score that corresponds to, or the closest thing to the 34th percentile, is negative 0.41. That's what I would enter in on my math lab or my homework assignment or whatever it might be. So I hope the percentile makes a little bit more sense to you now.